When I bought my Honda Pioneer in July of 2014, I went to install the winch and I looked on YouTube and there just weren't any videos about where to put the solenoid and how to do certain things uh, because they're so new on the market. So I thought I would make this video to show how I did it. Uh, it turned out uh, re actually really well. So the first thing is, uh, some general information is, you're going to take your front bumper off. There's bolts. There's four bolts, long bolts, that hold it to the frame. There is uh, a small bolt on each side at the bottom. And then under the very bottom, there's two bolts that hold it to the bottom of the frame. So you'll take that bumper off, and then you'll mount your winch to your your uh, bracket and I mounted my winch upside down and you have to mount it upside down but I mounted mine with the the um, wires to the passenger side because all my wires are on this side you can see <clears throat> uh, I use a KFI winch mount it's the only way to go. It's about $60, and the, it sends you extra long bolts. So when you put it back on, you get the two long bolts in the back to run through the frame, and you get a bolt and a bracket in the front to mount it to the, the bumper frame as well. You can mount your winch either way. You can mount the wires to the driver's side or the passenger side. It won't really matter, but... I put mine to the passenger side because that's where that's the side the battery's on and my solenoid's on, so I was keeping everything on that side. Then I mounted my solenoid right here under the hood, right below the fuse box. And I read where some people mounted it to the frame uh, back close to the battery or mounted it um, back in the back somewhere, but I wanted mine where it was easily accessible. So I, this was the best place on the machine to put it. The only th difference was I had to reverse my cables. So rather than running the black and red to the battery, I ran them straight down to the winch. And I ran my blue and yellow cables down the frame, back down the frame and back under the, the um, cab. And I'll show you, they go down there, straight down. I zip tied them to the other wiring harness, went down under the cab, and all that's pretty easily accessible. And then I brought them up right here, right next to the fuel tank. They come up, and then there's a there's a little access hole there, and ran them right through to the battery. And the cable length is perfect. To do it that way. Another thing I like about putting the solenoid right here under the fuse box is the worn winch comes with a wiring harness. This is for the winch remote. I mounted right up here front and center on that black panel. There's plenty of room to drill through. Uh, just make sure you put something underneath so you don't catch that, uh, that uh, wire that's running across under there. I wasn't really sure where to put that thing since I've never had this thing stuck, but I thought that I could access it from either side pretty easily right there. Uh, the worn, as I was saying, that it has a wiring harness, and so it has this plug connected to it. It has a switch that uh, goes in the cab. It has a bracket to mount it to, but I want I like the factory look, so I actually cut a hole into my dash and I mounted my switch right in the dash, right below the gear shift to the left. There's a nice big flat area, very easily accessible from the back side. Try to show you here. That's it with the green and red wires you can see sticking through the back, nice area there. All that's worked into the wiring harness. Also your power supply, this red wire, is part of the harness and it'll tie right in to this 
this is the accessory plug or cigarette light or whatever you want to call it. And you can tie it right in to the black and white wire. There's a green wire and there's a black and white wire and it'll you can tie it right in to that black and white wire. There's just enough room that wasn't taped up. Make sure you do it on the top side because that's the power supply side. I don't guess it really matters, but uh, this is this is your supply, and then this plug in goes down back over to the the uh, accessory plug in down there. Uh, then your wiring harness comes around over here. There's a lot of extra wire, so I just rolled it up and zip tied it underneath. But it runs over here, and you have these two wires, the green and black, that plug in on your solenoid. So everything is right there under the hood. Uh, the only thing you're running out from under there are these two wires going back to the battery and then your black and red that drop straight down to the winch. This is the bracket that Warren provides to install your, your uh, dash switch and you could mount it somewhere underneath however you want to do it, anywhere along. This is under the steering wheel right here. There's your uh, light switch there for a reference point. But I, again, I didn't like it. I wanted a, I wanted it to be in the dash. So what I did is I took it and I turned it around and I traced the hole right there where the switch is and cut the hole out. You can drill your corners and use a little jigsaw or I used a, a, a Sonic Craft, um, the one with the vibrating blade on the end it worked real well but it makes a nice neat finish to plug that in and I figured that more than likely if you're using that you're going to be sitting in the machine giving it gas and so you can reach right there and run your winch in at the same time if need be if you're not outside of it using your your remote the final thing that I kind of discovered that I think Honda should do uh, as an accessory at least is you have all this space under here and I actually found this box I already had it and it's uh, just a little plastic storage box fits like a glove just put that in there it kind of sits in the frame and I took a bungee right here and uh, I can reach back through there and attach it there's a bracket back there that it'll attach to and I keep my control my remote and you know some other little supplies inside that box so an idea for Honda if they watch this um, they should make utilize that space for some storage but overall it was a really neat and very simple installation if you've if you've uh, if you're mechanically inclined I didn't do a step by step because I already had everything installed when I decided to do the video but uh, hopefully this helped you make decisions on wh how and where you'll install all the pieces and parts to this winch setup uh, this this uh, winch is the Warren uh, Vantage 4000, and it has a synthetic rope. You can tell by the fair lead; it's a different. Uh, it's it's the one for the rope. I like the rope personally. It's a whole lot easier to work with as long as you be careful with it. Uh, so hope this helps you guys out, you pioneer owners, uh, with your winch installs.